Good afternoon, my name is Michael and I'm in a wood in East Sussex and today I would like to show you my three ram pumps and um, they're all of varying sizes. Okay, so uh, we're going to see what outputs they give. Now the drive line pipe for the large pump is coming from a four meter head tank. So you've got four meters of head and it's pumping up 10 metres all the way to the top of that hill. This one going, she's primed and ready to go. Right, let's go to the top of the hill and see what it's delivering. Right, let's see what we uh, get. There you go. 20 seconds to fill the litre bottle and uh, the um, delivery pipe, this pipe here, is um, coming up 75 metres with a 10 metre lift minus the 4 metre head of tank, so it's lifting 6 metres effectively. Incidentally, this is the um, rainwater tank or um, spring water tank that's delivering to the uh, ram and it's not catching up at all, it's uh, depleting the amount of water being stored. Right, this is the inch and a quarter ram. Um, pretty much the same design as the other one. Right, we're going to see what that's delivering up the top of the hill. About 51, 52 seconds for a litre of water. Okay, here's the uh, inch pump. Um, we'll wait a few minutes while the uh, tank replenishes um, because even at uh, eight to nine litres a minute coming into that black tank up there it's not quite enough to keep the inch and a half or the inch and a quarter ram going. This is a little pump you can hear tapping away. I put in about three weeks ago and um, it's pumping along a pipe, 150 metres all the way up the top beyond the wood into a large water storage container and uh, this has been uh, very reliable. Um, there's a uh, inch drive line and um, that's um, coming from a different tank further up. There's not a particularly great head of water on this one. These uh, ram pumps aren't anything new, they've been around for a few hundred years and um, it's just a bit of fun and um, yeah it's just interesting to see what they can produce so there's all sorts of things you can change on these to uh, make them really efficient so um, but uh, I don't have a year and a day to do that but um, I just thought I'd show you my three varying sizes. Right let's uh, turn her on and see what happens. Okay, let's go up to the top of the hill and see what that's producing. Here comes the water. So I'm going to stick my uh, bottle underneath it and uh, see how uh, many seconds it takes to fill a litre. Okay, so we're nearly full up here. That's virtually 30 seconds for a litre of water. Right, so there are the three pumps, and it would seem the most efficient one is the, um, in relation to the amount of water wastage, is the inch pump, because in 30 seconds that filled up a litre. The inch and a quarter took 52 seconds, and the inch and a half took 20 seconds. Now why the middle one took longer to fill up a litre, I've no idea. My name's Michael and um, I'm here to show you our uh, Papa pumps that uh, I installed uh, 18 months ago. Um, so um, let's see how these pumps are doing. So the water comes in behind these pumps from 
two sources. That's a uh, spring-fed source and that one over there is from the uh, tributary. As you can see there's the inlet and there's the overflow and that's discharging out there back into the stream. Here is the uh, spring thread uh, chamber. Now the spring water comes up from below so we sighted these uh, concrete rings over the top of the spring and it has managed to uh, give us about uh, 1.2 meters to the top of this um, lid here. There's the overflow and that too comes out there and back into the river. Here's one of the three troughs that we installed which serves the uh, grazing cattle during the uh, um, summer months but uh, there are two other troughs, one of them about 800 metres away, another one um, 400 metres away and um, this provides water from both the spring and the tributary uh, water all the time. Keeps them topped up and uh, free water. Uh, when this line is on, this being the uh, one of the higher troughs, we um, have to have an overflow on the highest tank uh, because the pumps need to keep pumping and um, any excess water goes down this lower pipe and back into the stream. So uh, in terms of abstraction, we're only abstracting what the, what the cattle drink. Okay, so back to these pumps. They're working well, they're working together. They're producing about the same amount of exhaust, which means they're pretty much in tune because they're linked up initially to um, the same source and exiting on the same pipe going up to the farm. So this is the uh, picture of the uh, pump that we've got in the chamber there. We've got two of those and uh, this is produced by a chap in uh, Cornwall and Papa Pumps and um, as opposed to mechanical valves they have um, like a latex rubber washer internally to um, produce the uh, valve motions and so effectively there's not a great deal to wear out unlike the hinged valves where they're uh, forever wearing away brass on brass but these uh, rubber diaphragm type um, units work very well. Here I am at trough number three all the troughs incidentally are turned off because it's too wet for the cattle to graze so uh, we're waiting until the spring and the ground dries up. So that pipe now is being diverted and taking the water all the way up over to the top of that hill. This will be trenched in in the spring when the ground dries out and uh, it's been pumping um, about two litres a minute uh, so when you bear in mind the head it's got to push up, which is 60, 65 metres, and the length of this black pipe, which is about uh, 550 metres, it's a hell of an ass for these pumps to do. But they're still achieving it, and uh, that's giving us about uh, 2,800 litres plus per 24 hours. Right, I'm at the top of the hill, and this is where the pipe terminates for the moment. And here's the outlet. So that's one litre and that's um, about 20-25 seconds for a litre. So there we have it and we're going to be putting it into a tank, 5,000 litre tank, to use as gravity. So that's the end of my video. Hope you've enjoyed it from Sunny Burwash in Sussex.